He was one of the very first African American actors who became an icon and became a legend. From being an athlete from a young age to becoming a great leading actor, he was able to travel around the world and gain the best education that anyone could get at the time. Later on, fighting for his rights for all African Americans to opposing fascism in Europe and even around the world. This is the legendary Paul Robeson, and this is his basic biography. Early life. Paul Robeson was born on the 9th of April 1898 in New Jersey, USA. He would be born to a family who were former slaves, uh, but became a part of the Presbyterian Church um, and was committed during the late 1800s, where his father was a minister and would be would raise him and his siblings to be good Presbyterian children and even help the African American community at the same time. He would go to school during the late 1910s in Somerville, in Somerville, New Jersey, in which he would have a passion for acting in various school plays and becoming a skilled athlete at the same time. With, his, his, uh, with this, he would be called racial slurs and even have some altercations with the white majority of the school students who were also attending. He would ignore this and manage to win over the, a scholarship to Rutgers College in the mid 1910s, meaning that he would continue his education career, educational career, and later become the third African American that would attend that that university. He would be able to perform on stage with his, most of his educational money coming from his uh, from his chances to make money for education via various jobs by being an actor and even singing. His education would be would continue at Columbia Law School in nineteen in the nineteen twenties, to supporting the African American community during that same time. His main career would be a lawyer, and would be an actor during the time of the Harlem Renaissance in the same decade of the nineteen twenties. Acting career. Paul Robeson would become an, a stage actor in the best part of the 1920s, with most of his performances being uh, on stage during the time period of the Harlem Renaissance when it was in full swing. World War I had just ended and the American economy was able to make a great impact with the African American community contributing in the success of new music in that same era, such as jazz, blues and even allowing the uh, most of the members to become big actors and singers for uh, for that same time period paul robeson managed to be, to act in various performances as uh, in as othello on stage with having a chance to act in cinema his first movie performance was in 1925 where he played a reverend in the movie body and soul with african-american actors and actresses where where they were also playing supporting roles whilst robeson was able to be a lead actor he moved around uh, and even moved um, into different roles straight away with his movie success and would sometimes spend time performing in the UK and even the rest of Europe with some time spending time singing to many people who were n not African Americans. The 1930s would have him becoming a newcomer, newcomer actor um, with most of his movie roles such as Emperor Jones in 1933 being uh, shown in cinemas around the world. His breakout performance was based on his singing talents of the 1930s and this was in the movie Showboat in 1936 where he was able to sing Old Man River and would be able to uh, be filmed in the United States rather than in Europe. This song would be known around the world and is, is a part of cinematic success for this great actor, even starring in both African American acting uh, even being liked by African American actors and even white actors at the same time. Later on in the 1930s, he would continue to act in more supporting roles and even sometimes a lead African American role depending on the studios who would hire him.
from actor to activist, whilst travelling around the world and even mostly in Europe. Paul Robeson would see the world change before his eyes and even have himself become an iconic star to many people who were able to watch his performances. He saw the rise of racism racism, and how the African American community was treated in the United States, with Europe copying the same traits, but sometimes with different communities. This led him to a path where he was able to become an activist with most of his, his, the view of the people that didn't satisfy the government and even the treatment of different communities. Once returning back from the United States, back to the United States, he was able to still act and even perform in more movies as well as being on stage. This time with more racism being shown and even African American communities being uh, a big part that, um, of the ongoing World War II. He shined a light on this issue that where that where a hand uh, that were at hand um, and had a chance to support other activists at the same time to stop persecutions happening to him and even the rest of the community. He denied the uh, uh, to act in various movies in the late 1940s due to racism or anything to do with racism. From becoming an activist instead of, a, of an actor, Paul Robeson was able to fight against the government who were making the African American community demonized and even are not employable to many white majority companies or even acting as uh, lead actors or actresses in major performances. Also of this compl of all of all of his complaints and his aggression was taken up by to the president of the United States at the time at the same time with the chance of himself being um, able to promote his activism around the world to fight against racism personal life and final years Paul Robeson was only married once and had a son with Yes Elslander good their relationship lasted from 1921 to 1965. He would still campaign against the injustice or uh, justices against the African American communities whilst uh, being an actor and an activist, spending some time working on film sets based on stage performances and even turning them into movies, such as Othello, but the, uh, which was supposed to be promoted in, in the 1950s, but was scrapped due to the movie portraying African Americans in a bad way, which happened in most movies and even stage performances at the time. He officially resigned from acting in the 1950s and carried on fighting for rights and even rights of other people who were abused by Hollywood or not being allowed to perform due to the colour of their skins. The Song of the Rivers in 1954 was, the, was his last performance in film or in television. Later on, he would be able to tour in different countries and even spread his word on race, uh, racism and how it was how it affect everyone to being under the FBI radar and even the government's radar due to his political views as well as activism. Finally, coming back to performing on stage in the 1960s to perform around the world again and sharing his views on the current relationships with people. Death and Legacy Sadly, the legendary actor and activist Paul Robeson passed away on the 23rd of January 1976 at the age of 77. His final years were spent in Philadelphia, with his legacy being one of the greatest for an actor that even became one of the activists of the civil rights movement during a time uh, which he joined during the time of its formation. He was able to become one of the pop uh, most successful scholars in his spare time and with a chance of uh, being accepted in three great university institutions and still being able to have his legacy going on at those universities. Yet these universities still helped and even um, celebrated his achievements to becoming one of the well-known African-American actors, activists, and even athletes of all time. He was remembered around the world with the United Kingdom creating a plaque of English heritage with SOAS University in London keeping his memory alive through various objects to events. He will 
always be remembered based on his courage, intelligent intelligence, and even becoming one of the African American actors who inspired many uh, people to become actors. He is well and truly a legend of Hollywood. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe if you haven't done so. My name is Su Suki Cookie, and I have other content like this, which I am also uploading. Uh, please have time to watch my other videos, and thank you for watching.